Time for this week's third rail, and Charlie tries to clear up some muddy waters. There's an old saying about friendship, and it goes a little something like this. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Well, uh, actually, I was thinking of the phrase, tell me who your friends are, and I'll tell you who you are. We in Canada have become a lot prouder recently of our American friends, because they've gone and elected a super cool president. This is crazy, baby, don't forget that boy told you kick. Now, part of what's supposed to make him cool is that he's against the bad war in Iraq, but he's for the good war in Afghanistan. The army's not the army anymore. It's better than it's ever been before. You used to walk a mile with beans, but now they bring them to you. And all the generals say hello as though they really knew you. But the Afghanistan mission raises that whole friends thing again. Okay, you have to stop the Q-tip when there's resistance. This month, it came out that as late as 2004, the Americans were contracting out assassinations in Afghanistan to the mercenary group Blackwater. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. It also came out in a sworn statement from someone who used to work for Blackwater that the company's head honcho, Eric Prince, quote, views himself as a Christian crusader tasked with eliminating Muslims and the Islamic faith from the globe. Well, all this didn't stop Crusader from having big ideals. He saw himself as sort of a knight in shining armor, and he was always trying to help out other people, other causes, like the time he tried to make everyday Christmas by nominating Santa Claus for president. All this the same month that our man in Afghanistan, Hamid Karzai, is getting campaign help from General Abdul Rashid Dostum, one of the country's most notorious warlords. No, I get vibes, a little help from my friends. Mm, get high, a little help from my friends. Uh, I don't think if Hamid Karzai wants to get high, he needs any help from his friends, since, according to everybody up to and including the New York Times, his little brother is a drug kingpin in Kandahar. Look, Canadians and Afghans have the right and the duty to ask who our friends are. Isn't that cute, boys and girls? He's trying to make friends. <laughs> no, uh, not trying to make friends. I'll just... Uh get the globe. Because if Afghanistan has friends like us, well, you know how the rest of that one goes. For the City News List, I'm Charlie Demet. Well done. Great job. That's we why you're uh, getting appointed to Senate. <laughs> Congratulations, Mike. Thank you. The whole Blackwater thing, I mean, it was a big story uh, last week. We never had a chance to talk about it. Yeah, it's, uh, they've, ch they've changed their name as a company. It's now XE or something like that. But uh, Jeremy Scahill, who's a journalist in the United States, doing a lot of work on this. It's really revelatory, uh, disturbing stuff. Wonderful job. Uh, tell Charlie how you liked his uh, third rail on our Facebook wall. Just ahead, we try to find the link. Follow us on Twitter and join our Facebook group. Look for the City News List. We'll be right we'll back. find it.